Hello. So, today's story is called Hick. It's about a pig. And his name's Snuffle Trumps. So, Hick by Jacqueline Azule. Let's see. Let's start the day. Page one. Okay, Snuffle Trump the piglet was sad. Everyone seemed to have forgotten it was his birthday today. No cards, no presents, just <laughs> the hiccups. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig were very busy. When Snuffle Trump asked if he could help, all that came out was hick. Oink, you go off and play, Daddy Pig told Snuffle Trump. But Snuffle Trump was too sad to play. Hick. So he went to visit Cow instead. When Cow heard Snuffle Trump's hiccup, she said, Goodness, moo! Cow told Snuffle Trump that the only cure for hiccups was to drink a glass of her milk. While standing on your head, Brit didn't help. Hick! Poor Snuffle Trump. Now he had the hiccups, no happy birthday, and milk all over him. Look. Hick. Oh. Thank you for trying to help, cow, he said. Over at the hen house, the naughty, pecky, gossipy hens laughed. <laughs> when they heard Snuffle Trump's hiccups. Hick. Everyone knows what you cockadoodle do to cure the hiccups, said Rooster, with a glint in his eye. You must juggle some eggs. He's got some eggs for him. Oh! Snuffletrump wasn't so sure, but he didn't want to be rude. He started to juggle the eggs. Splat! 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 Hick! Snuffletrump now had hiccups, no happy birthday, milk all down his face, and egg on his head too. Snuffle Trump didn't feel like saying anything to those mean old hens, but he remembered his manners. Hick. Thank you for trying to help, he said. It looks very sad. Look. Snuffle Trump sat down feeling very sad and alone. Mummy pig, daddy pig, he cried. I feel like a pancake. <laughs> he looked all around, but poor Snuffle Trump couldn't see mummy pig or daddy pig anywhere. Can you see them? Where have they gone? Horse whinnied to Snuffle Trump from the field. Nay! Snuffle Trump trotted over. Hick. Don't worry, said Horse. The best cure for hiccups is a good old jiggity jog. Climb up onto my back. Snuffle Trump sat on the back of the horse and they jigged and jogged and bumped and bounced all around the field. It was wonderful fun. Until 
horse or mole poke his head up and stopped in surprise. Poor Snuffletrump was catapulted through the air. Whee! Thank you for trying to help, horse, Snuffletrump said. But now I have hiccups, no happy birthday, milk all over my face, egg on my head and straw stuck everywhere. <laughs> Duck quaffed, quacked at Snuffletrump from the pond where she was teaching her ducklings to swim. Oh, Snuffletrump, she said, I heard your hiccups from over here. You frightened my ducklings. Quack. Sorry, duck. Ick, said Snuffletrump. Don't you know that the surest cure for hiccups is a splash of cold water? Duck said. With that, Duck and all of her ducklings started splishing and splashing Snuffletrump. When they'd stopped splashing Snuffletrump, stood up and waited. Duck and her ducklings waited. Oh, Snuffletrump said at last with a smile. I'm clean again. Thank you, duck. Thank you, ducklings. My hiccups have... Hick! Still not gone. Snuffletrump was clean, but he still had no happy birthday. And he still had the hiccups. Then Snuffletrump saw Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig waving to him from the barn. So he headed over there as fast as he could. Happy birthday, Snuffletrump! Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig and all of Snuffletrump's friends were in the barn with the biggest birthday party he had ever seen. Snuffletrump found out what the nicest possible cure for hiccups is. A surprise! Looks like a lovely birthday party. And there's that big present that Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig were hiding in a bush with. All down on the farm.